We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's your unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official, Miss Jamaica. What's going on? No, 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 Madeira. Well, go on. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, YouTube, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visuals, you definitely got to sign up for our membership on YouTube. You'll see exclusive content on our YouTube channel that before anybody else see it, okay? I just want to tell you that. Because he going to chop it up, clip it up, do all of that before the full length come out. If you want to see that full length first, just go ahead and sign up for our membership package. Thank you in advance. Hey, man, listen, man. Guys, thank you guys for joining us again today, man. We got some guys in here. They really don't need no introduction. These guys right here, man. Uh, listen, man, it about to go down. The DF Dub is in the building today. Yes, we got we yes, got sir. we got the DF Dub. You know, a lot of people be trying to hate. Man, he don't but where he gonna get the Dallas people? He don't get all of the he don't get the Fort Worth guys no more. He done got it too big. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Y'all see me over here grinding every day. Straight up. Check it, man. Rife is in the building. What up, what up? Jack Boy Marley is in the building. Jack. And it's yes, about sir. to go down, man. We about yes, to go sir. down through that with these two guys right here, man. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. So, are y'all originally from Dallas? From I'm originally from Fort Worth. From Fort Worth. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And yeah, you? I'm from Dallas. Dallas, yeah, Texas. Born and raised. Born and raised. Fort Worth. Yeah. Eastside. Yeah, that you yeah. cribbing? I'm not cribbing. <laughs> I was around Chris, but I'm not. Cribbing. That's a crib neighborhood. Well, I was at it was it was blood it was blood uh, territory. You know, I don't know. I'm yeah. asking. The South Side more so was a crib territory. Okay, let's get but to I grew it. Up over there as well. You was over. Your grandmama was lived over there. Nah, my grandmama lived in the six. Stop six. Okay, okay. Yeah, I grew you up know, up. Fort Worth and Dallas. Now, what part of Dallas you in? I was South Dallas. Ooh, yeah. Barrel Street. Yeah, South all the way down. Uh, everything south. Bonton. I love it. Before they tore down the other part. Yeah, before all of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, they got a Bonton Farms over there now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that little went, restaurant yeah. down through there. I, went, I didn't even recognize it. Well, down <laughs> it there. looked beautiful like, when I went down there. I, I said, damn, it, is we downtown? And they got rid of the curve. I was like, oh, yeah, they, they, they didn't switch it up. Man, you know, man. it's just dope to sit back and just kick it with, you know, we're in the city. Right. And just to see the development, man, you could talk about yeah. it all the years, man. When you you might go by Rochester now, that's the only thing still look, you know, look good yeah. and original. Yeah. The rest of it, they messing up trying to figure out ways to. I don't know if they trying to how they call it when they trying to push them out. Gentr Gentrification. Yeah. yeah. It, it, you see it, don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, how going, do, I'm going through it right now. They trying to push out your house. Yeah, going through right now. How much money are you going to charge them? Because they not getting this house. Well, no, nah, but see, you know, uh, I, I was lucky, man. The, the street that we grew up, my family grew up on, my grandfather owned a few houses on the street. And so now that they've passed and it's on us now, uh, we're trying to hold on to it as best as we can. But they, they tearing everything down, rebuilding stuff up. It just looked crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? You still got the frame houses, and you got these four story uh, white houses in between all the frame houses. but. It is what it is. Well, That's good that you're trying to hold on to because a lot of these younger kids nowadays, they just care about the money. They're not yeah. caring about the value of something being passed down from right. generation to generation. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, they, I've seen it so many times. They argue between mm -hmm. each other. Oh, just give me the money. I can yeah. go do this. Why you want to stay in this hood? Right, right, right. You see right. what I mean? Yeah, it, it's important to me because I remember growing up over there, spending, you know, Christmas over there, walking home from school, from Charles <laughs> Rice, whatever the case may be. And uh, right, I want to make sure that they stay, stay in the family. You've seen your first, you know, um, you've seen a lot of your first. I'm not going to get yeah. in your personal business. I know you've seen some stuff over there. Yeah. The little baggies, all kind oh, of yeah. stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let's yeah, not yeah, go yeah. all the way into yeah, details. Yeah. But in the South, you know what I'm saying? You might see somebody might. I seen a nigga get his head just, you know, boom, right there yeah. at Henderson Chicken. I'm walking yeah, in the yeah, door yeah. and they still trying to serve me chicken like it never happened. You want the chicken? <laughs> I said, like, hell no, I'm done. <laughs> Ma hey, it, was, it wasn't Malcolm X back then. It was something, what, what was it? It was Oakland, Oakland back Oakland then. Avenue. My boy no see, you yeah, know, it, we were over there, it was bad, man, that's yeah. all I'm gonna say. And, and, but we still went to Bobby's every weekend, nigga. <laughs> we Bobby? still went to Anime, oh, nigga. Man. Yeah, we Legendary. still went to Lady Love every weekend, Legendary. man. Yeah. We 
still went to UTV every weekend, man. I'm going in. We still went to House of Jock every weekend, man. The Ghetto Club every. This boss talk, man. Don't you trip? Because I'm going to tell you something. I was over there. Young kids don't know nothing about that. That's what I'm saying. They don't know nothing about clubs or none of that. No, they know about clubs, but it's a different kind of club. They got club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ain't nobody strip club. We went to had a dance floor. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't no dance floors at clubs no more. You know, it's just it's just places to sit down and right. chill. It ain't no, it ain't really no club to me. Lounges. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be honest with you, Jack. Boy, Marley, welcome to, we going down through there. Nah, you know what I'm saying? Cold. Rosedale, I'm Berry, nigga, don't think I ain't been to Fort Worth. Nigga, you ain't, uh, um, come on, right man. Right Rosedale. Yeah, y'all, so you yeah. thought I was, I just playing with you. I'm old, nigga. I had my cousin them lived over there. My first cousin, my oldest uncle. Out of the nine boys and five girls was out of Fort Worth after he left from down in Smithland. He stayed over there from the early 70s all the way up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't think, that's why I be tripping off these niggas. I'm old, but I, I was running, I was everywhere they let me stay. If my uncle was over there then, nigga, I might can be over there. You know what I'm saying, my real daddy top. brother? Yeah, real real top. Top. Real. You know what I'm saying? Real <laughs> top. For real. Real. So, so how was it coming up in Fort Worth in this new day? Because y'all got oh. some good rappers over there. You have some stiff competition over there when yeah. it come down to that music, man. Oh, yeah. Even some, some of the ones that ain't acknowledged, man. It's some real lyricists over there, man. They don't get the attention they, de- they deserve. Wait but a minute. I don't go by that. Now, who you talking about? What you mean? Put a name on that. I'm going to say my boy Chief Rebel. Why he ain't getting no recognition? I he ain't working market. hard. Where's yeah. his Instagram at? He working, but it's Where's his YouTube at? Yeah. Chief Rebel. I, I mean, Chief okay, Rebel. well, they, see, and that's where me and you are, me and you are different because Chief Rebel, if he hot, the world going to call him hot now. If well, he working, saying, he not, that's what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? If he yeah. on that YouTube, mm-hmm. the YouTube going to say, you know what, nigga, you good, or Go to hell, nigga. Mm-hmm. That's what that YouTube yeah. do to you. All your Instagram. Say, nigga, you good. Oh, no, 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 nigga, that ain't straight it. Up. And, and, and it's going to tell you in a way where you can accept it or you can choose to ignore no, it. Right. Thanks. Am I right? No, you're absolutely right. 100% correct. You're right. So why is he not correct. known? Because he probably hard as hell. Well, I'm going to say because, you know, the business is the biggest part of it. So you can have the talent. But if you ain't got your business together and if you ain't got the funding, that shit can make it complicated. And that's his situation, especially when you got kids. So his main focus is he. Of course, he's striving for this, but his kids is his is his priority as well. So it's like, and you got a multiple amount of kids, so it's kind of hard. Me, I only have one. Him, he got like five. Man, so I was it's, it's Charlie cool. Lowe had eighteen, nigga. <laughs> he might have the money though. You see what I'm he saying? Had money. I ain't he trying to let Charlie. He had eighteen, but I met Charlie Lowe. I think he had more like twelve or thirteen. Yeah, 12 or 13. But I just blowed it up a little bit more. Shout out, man, to Charlie Lowe. You don't know, he probably didn't have the money when he started having them yeah. kids. Right, but he might got into the right opportunities or situation that got him the money. My partner haven't came across that yet. Everything you know that you do starts in the mind. It does, you're right. Everything, Everything right. that you create starts right here. Nah, facts. So I don't know what, I, I'm gonna look him up though, cause you shouted that nigga out on Boss Talk. Nah, he gave he, shout you gave that up, nigga a hell of a shout out. Yeah. We ain't even learned out about guy. you, you yet. Even that all nigga, we ain't even learned about Jack Boy Marley yet. And you shouted that nigga out. You cut for that nigga. You know what I'm saying? That nigga cut for that nigga, man. So Jack Boy, where the name Jack Boy Marley come from? Okay, Jack Boy Marley comes from really just uh, uh, attitude, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm influenced by Bob Morley a lot, especially mm-hmm. his message was... It was All was, right, you know my wife Jamaican. Now, you okay. treading well, on you, some... Well, you you treading on... She knew why she yeah. was gonna get you right you jumped, there. Now, you dropped your butt right yeah. over in there. We just got back from Jamaica, nigga. Now, I done rode from Kingston all the way to Montego <laughs> Bay, all the way to Negril, back nah, up to really, Montego Bay <laughs> because of that woman right there. Yeah, so when you yeah. speak... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love this. No, I love this. Go ahead, baby. Talk to it. No, finish saying you. Oh. <laughs> so Marley came comes from Bob Marley, of course, right. because I love his message and his. You know what I'm saying? His energy it was peace, love, and happiness. Like I wanted that was big for me, especially the, uh, it, within his music. His music is very beautiful. Him and the Whalers. I have a cassette tape, not tape, but uh, a two side disc. Why? I can play either side and they play their greatest hits. And uh, you know what I'm saying? And everything in that was was part of me. And also the Jack boy is like, it's like that two side, you got the good side and that bad side. Mm-hmm. So it's like the Jack boy is that negative side, it's that side of telling me, telling you, give me my respect or I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take whatever I want. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, I'm not meaning that in a negative way, I'm meaning that in a positive way. Like when it comes to this rap shit, 
I'm gonna take my way. I'm gonna take this my way, my spots, whatever, wherever I want to go, wherever I'm trying to achieve, and whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna take it. It's an attitude, you know what I mean? So okay. So it's the Jack boy, give me my respect. Though, I'm gonna take it. Mm. And you. Rife, where did you get your name from? Rife got yeah, his name well, from Rife for man. Yeah, see, uh, uh, Chuck old. Connery. Uh, yeah, Chuck, uh, yeah, Chuck Connery. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let him answer his own uh, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, get your name, Rife. <laughs> Yeah, it did. I'm a I'm a little older, so you gotta understand when I fell in love with rapping and everything. Everybody had a cool nickname based on a movie, like a Scarface, or they made up a name like an Ice Cube, Ice T, whatever the case may be. So I was looking for a good nickname, and back then I was really uh, I was battle rapping a lot in school, lunch table. You know, you beat on the table. Yeah, I don't know if kids still do that now. I have yeah, no they idea. do. They beat on their chest from oh, pencil. The okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I was pencil. I was pencil <laughs> in the uh, lunch table. You know what I mean? So, so I got that kind of name from that. Could be real quick. You were on good the at it. A good, real good at it. Yeah, back. Yeah, back then. For oh, sure. you can't do it no more. Well, you know. Yeah, cause you said back then for back sure. Back then for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm oh, not he gonna give you I'm two pins. Yeah, right I'm just saying that. Yeah, I used to do all of that. I know what yeah, you used, I used to do, do all man. of that. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, all I know, that. I know what you used to do. Don't play, that, I, I, I know <laughs> niggas used to break that pill hand be hurting. I tried to tell you. That wasn't a good beat though. Oh, I could get out. Mm -hmm. I, I just was messing around. Don't make on, me. You put them on the spot. That's yeah, like, if yeah, I get spot. back on there, you know, I'm going to make that whole do something. Yeah. But I just didn't just do it for him right now because I ain't really no rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I got skills. You're right, right on. Right so, on. so you beat on the, uh, okay, so what was it that made you stick to it all this long? Because you've been rapping now yeah. for a long time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, really, um, I got into it really young, DJing at first, and I started making beats. And then making beats turned into recording at the crib, turned into rapping, turned into working with other artists, this, that, and the third. So uh, once I really jumped into it, did my first album back in 02, um, I, I had a lot of success at the very beginning, right? So I was able to do some tours, go on shows, work with different artists. What was your first album called? Uh, it was called High Noon. It was the High first Noon. album, okay. yeah. With, uh, real to Real Records here in Dallas. And real to know, Real. I know Real to Real, so. And I was producing at the time too, so I was producing for Blowfly, uh, working on different stuff over there. And then man, I did Blowfly, that's the one that uh, man, super tight. Shout out to uh, Bobo. Yeah, he always talking about Blowfly. Yeah, Blow he loved truth. telling Blow me about truth. Blowfly. Blow. I never met this guy, but he yeah, always do. Shout out to the nigga because Bobo said so. Yeah, Blow Bobo, my cat, my that's my guy. Like, and and he gonna tell me, man, that nigga bad, man. Yeah, blow the truth. Yeah, he yeah. the truth, huh? He the truth, he the truth. You he ain't legend. the only one saying that, so he that's big. Yeah, he a legend right here. So we did that, and I did my first. I had a lot of success, and then I took some time off because um, I started, I had I had a kid. I had what year? Another kid. What year was like that? Like 03, 04. Mm -hmm. And I just took it, just got away from it, just took some time off, and just raised my kids, you know what I'm saying? Raised my kids so I can get some money, get some other businesses. Now they got them through college, and now they got them through everything else, and now I'm back to doing what I love. So what do you say when rainwater and guys like this say you old and you need to get out the way? Man, that's his opinion. You know, I'm what just saying? gonna give it to you real. What What do you say to guys that say you You, you guys are the reason yeah. why the young niggas can't eat because you old niggas won't get out the way? It ain't. I, it ain't I don't have to feed nobody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I just got to eat on my my plate. You know what I'm saying? I got people I got to take care of. Everybody else got to take care of their people, too. So I can't put nothing on nobody else. It ain't up to nobody else for me to eat. You know what I'm How are you as a, 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 as, how old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 44. How are you going to uh, get, are you looking to plead a piece to the 44-year-olds yeah. or the younger crowd? Or the no, older I'm, crowd? Look, I'm looking for more for my age. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So when I started back doing it a few years ago, I looked at it, I said, you know, I, I had moved, I bought a house in Atlanta. I that camera is showing, hold on, that's what he's telling you. Oh. Don't blank out that camera, I cut nah, this out. No, I wouldn't, I was just, you I was zoning like, out, nigga, you have? No, nah, I'm listening to him. <laughs> okay, I'm let's go. Yeah, I'm you were trying to get him, wasn't you? Yeah. <laughs> we'll cut this out, <laughs> we'll cut this out. That nigga zoned out on you. That camera ain't, is rolling on you. He I don't want you to look like that when the show come out. To ass them zoned out over here. Cause I'm listening to bro. Sometimes me, I get in my thoughts, like, you know, I listen to his questions and his answers and shit. Go ahead, go ahead, we gonna get into it. I'm getting to learn him, Cause like I said, it's my first time meeting. That's yeah. hard, man. So, yeah, yeah, really it's my first time hooking up. Okay, yeah. So let's keep going. Sorry about that. No, no, no. You good? So, uh, so right when the <coughs> right when the pandemic hit, everything slowed down. I met the crib, 
And I'm like, well, damn, I can't really. I was traveling a lot. I couldn't travel, couldn't get on no planes. The kids at the house getting on my nerves. So I had to go back in my little office back there and start making beats again, get back into music, fall back in love with it again. I bought a crib out in Atlanta. So I spent a lot of time out there. And when I got to Atlanta, I realized that all the old music was still playing like the new music. I mean, everything. No matter where you go in Atlanta, you know this. Yeah. Restaurant, lounge, uh, you can go to Trillburg. You can go to Trillburg and get that UGK mix. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You're you going to hear it all. And I kept hearing a lot of Dallas music out there. Yeah. Like the old stuff, you know what I'm saying? So I would call and talk to different guys I know from back here. Like, bro, they playing your stuff in Atlanta. I don't know if you knew that, but I just went in to have, have dinner and they, they jamming your music in here. So started thinking, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get back into it, start making some more songs, and, and here we are. Yeah, I seen you had did that uh, Master Ace, Born to Roll, you, oh, yeah. you took that beat and you went in on it, so man, I ain't- You realize that people don't even know that that's a Master Ace beat? You know, I know, I'm I know all you know, nigga, but, man. But everybody be like, man, you you made that beat? I'm like, bro, that's a- <laughs> But that's I can see that though. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah but so when, when, he's, when he was listening to it, he's like, he kept like, I know this oh, beat. I know this yeah. beat. I know this beat. He went and researched yeah, it. And he said, showed yeah, that, I showed you. I said, yeah. man, I knew that. Boy on the road. It, it say something about turn that shit down. You know that you need, that don't want to hear the sound. Yeah. Of the doom, 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 in the video. Doom, doom, doom. In the video. He you know that. That would be it, did it. Bass is rumbling in that thing. Yeah. One of my favorite songs, DJing. So when I, I did that beat, people were like, man, you made that track. Like, bro, that's an old song, bro. That's like. Classic, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't, I can't take credit for that. But, but how, how does it feel to get back in there after you done took off so much time? Man, it feels great, man. I mean, now it took me a while to figure out how to get the money out the game, because I've come from the CD era. You know, you print up ten thousand, you can make you a hundred grand in a couple of months. Yeah. You know, Southwest Wholesale used to run to play with them all the time. So now I'm learning how to get the money. You all now. down in Houston? Yeah. So now I know how to get the money. Now everything's good, man. Wow. To me, it's like re like a retirement plan. You wow! Know what I'm so go, go do shows, make music, get money. Let me ask you this, man. So, so how are you going? How are you you getting? The, you you understand that the show money is where it's at now? Like, oh the, yeah, that's where it's at now. Mm -hmm. I'm finna talk to this young nigga for a second. <laughs> this young nigga finna tell you how it go down for real, like in his world. This young nigga, Jack Boy Marley. About to tell us what's going down in the clubs, why they ain't listening to no damn slow music. <laughs> and we for to talk about it, because we come from a slow music era. Yeah, man. Y'all don't have no slow music, it's go music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let's talk about it. Like, so what when you first got in the game, what what did you want to accomplish? Uh, I just wanted to get I just wanted to be a part. And in the beginning, I didn't have the vision that I have now. More so then, I just wanted to, you know, you you just think about the fame and all that shit and all, everything that comes with it. You don't think about it actually being like your real life. Like you don't, you just think about all the exciting shit that comes with it. But as you grow and learn so much more and want to be, and learn so much in life, you want to be more than that. You know what I'm saying? You want to be something of an icon. Like I said, I study the game. I study all these rappers and musicians that come before us, you know what I'm saying? Because they are the ones who is keeping this evolved. So it's up to me to make it even more evolved in a different time. And so for me, like music is more like it's life, it's my life. So I give it everything. And I don't see it as far as I did back then, as far as it just being like a meal ticket, something to, you know what I'm saying, to, to brag and boast about. Now it's my life, it's what I do. I eat, breathe, sleep this shit. Get at it. What's the, what, what okay, give me give me a, uh, the first, uh, you know, like that 16 on that when you first come in with it. Give you, like, rap yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, I want it. What I say? Okay, I say, um, I could never be scared, my heart too enormous, bar none, fade all, pop off, then we own it. Ain't no more real soldiers, real, ain't no more real soldiers, real fighters, it's a shortage. Gotta switch to the blick, cause these niggas talking clips. From the murder little nigga, I murder a nigga. My back gets the wall of convertible niggas. I ain't running from shit, I ain't scared of you niggas, cause I'm full of pressure. That's about to burst. Grew up, grew up, uh, hold on. Nigga, you just made nah, that no, a damn though, nigga. <laughs> uh, but that was hard. Are yeah, you going yeah. through the whole thing? I just want yeah, a little yeah, bit of bad. it. I, I just want to just break down some of like some of the yeah. some of some of the things that, that that take you there mentally. Like when you yeah. when you said you you do you uh, what they call it, baby? When they say they when they rap, they 
go in. What punch you punch in? Yeah, no, I don't punch in. I write my shit. Right. No, you punch, punch in, in I nigga. I don't punch in. I write. You show? I like to think my shit out. I like to. You go back, make punch sense. in, come back. Nah, I don't say that one again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, for real. Like with my squad, man, it's like an artist development. Like, and he a real hip hop and he in your time. So yeah. they all, he all about that real raw shit. Like you ain't coming in here with no bullshit. You ain't coming mm -hmm. here with no mumble shit. Oh, my bad. You ain't coming in here with no mumble shit. You ain't coming in here nothing gimmicky. And I love that because I'm all the way against that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like, I don't like to even be having handouts. I like to be giving, I like to earn my shit. And with what he, how he, you know what I'm saying? Is uh how his mind is is exactly how I want mine to be. Where I want my shit earned, and I want everything that I do to make sense, to have a meaning, and to be everything that I stand for. So, well, so, I'm just so. gonna be honest with you, man. You young niggas, you know, y'all doing all the hip movement. And I stuff. don't do that shit. Uh, you know, they <laughs> doing it on TikTok. That. So you yeah. against TikTok? No, nah, I ain't against it. I'm just okay. talking about certain things. <laughs> I, I don't go with everything that's. Cause TikTok is, yeah, well, <laughs> nah, crazy. Right, say, hell no, nah, man, I'd be so so nah, in the Fuck with that. That's that's I love this. I think I, I mean it's you real. gotta understand real, the right. way I way I way I come at you is just really just to make people think, understand where the this is a real good uh, you know collage the way we come together with this yeah. because. You know, I'll take a little run and put him in here with a, a J. Cruz or something. Mm -hmm. Anytime I do everything. Yeah. Nah, that's yeah, dope. Just man. because this is the city that we 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 in this city, man. Mm -hmm. We gotta let people know we out here, we working. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And, and I think you guys are, are true examples of that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? For sure. So we, what are you gonna do? What's next on the agenda for you? What do you want? When is the? So you got a whole project out? Yeah, we just finished it. What's up. the name of the, of the album? Typo Negative. Okay, where can people get it at? Everywhere. It's going to be It's everywhere. on all streaming Not platform? Not yet, but it's about to be. When is it drop dropping? It. We still figuring that out right now. Like, we just completed it officially. What's the hardest song on it that you think? Whew. And is there any features I'm, on it? Yeah, I got some some names on it. I got Big Tuck on there. You got Tuck on that yeah, thing? I got Tuck on there. He go, that's, the, that's the leading song. They get at it is with Big Tuck. Yeah. So I got that track. I got the track with Devin the Dude called Higher. I got a track with Renaissance. You ain't mess with Devin the Dude like that, man. I promise you. We got Toe Down up. just called me. Shout out Toe Down. He just had Devin on there. He got him on the track yeah, with yeah. him. They was in there doing a the whole video. Yeah, we shoot a video December what? Second? Yeah, yeah we got Yeah, okay. And tell that nigga when he come down here. We going down there, actually. Oh, you going down the there? You want yeah. me to come down there, nigga? Yeah, yeah, come if on. If I get the interview, if he, you, you tell him it's in the contract already. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, come just, on, come so on. I'm yeah, just man, but what, when is it? Man. December 2nd? Yeah, December 2nd. Yeah, yeah, I'll be back. We'll be yeah. in town. We're going to we be on Rap down Economics down there, too. I'm That's my boy. Back. Come on, they yeah. been on the show. See, you don't watch Boss Talk. I said I said I watch. I don't watch Them nigga Prez and Prez and DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that nigga DJ? Uh... Nightcap. Nightcap, Nightcap, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Nightcap really on top of Boss Talk. He loves Boss Talk 101. That's what yeah. he watches us, man. Shout out to Prez, Nightcap, man. So what do you think about rap economics when you when you really just dive into what they've them, done in, in such a small they amount of time? Providing, providing opportunities on a platform that's growing massively. So it's like, that's why I first seen Boosie Daughter on. You know what I'm saying? She on went that. in on Every man, time they in. coach me, I just want to. She went in on that <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> That's yeah, he, he be watching. That's what I'm saying. I told you, nigga, I'm not. Listen, that's man. Dope. Dope. I got to do this, man. Yeah, nah, when you going down there and get on the mic with him, man? Soon, man. We we've talked about it a couple of times. I was gonna go when they was in East Texas at my. Um, they were down there at uh, Bar Nim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trail talk, no bill yeah, talk. Yeah, was down yeah. there too. Why you, why you ain't go? The bar. I had something going on. Uh, like I've been I've old been nigga problem. Time. Listen, it's an old nigga problem. It was an old nigga problem. And I, and I honestly, I probably had a soccer game or something. You know what I'm I told probably you. Probably See what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get with him. I'm gonna get with him. Yeah, sure, man, man. I thank you guys, man. Like I said, man, you gotta check in with them guys, man, because they rocking yeah. in Texas. They Absolutely. putting them freestyles through down through there. They running yeah, them down yeah, through same. there. They, and then you yeah. got I, they, they say Flip I think he the long, did the longest freestyle or something y'all gonna break, that, like break that nigga record when you That's go down there gonna smash everything yeah everything that move you gonna go for hours I'm tell him you, tell him keep that mic turned <laughs> on <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> nah shout out Flip talk. man but yeah um, so you know when, when you look at what you do in the music now compared to what you did back then yeah. what is the biggest difference um you can be a little bit more uh, self reliant now than you could be back in the day. Back in the day, it's a lot about who you knew, which it still is to a degree. But um, being in the game as long as I've been in, now I can kind of just focus on the things I want to do without putting too many hands in the pot. 
You know what I'm saying? Back then, everything was expensive. Studio time was set at five bucks an hour. Uh, printing up posters, printing up CDs, getting on the road. Now, with the click of a button on your phone, you could be worldwide yeah. in five seconds. You know what I'm saying? Printing up so, posters. Yeah. That damn grifter. Them niggas spent so much money on. I don't know who the rapper was. I yeah, never but you seen, know, they never dropped the album. I never, <laughs> never seen the they rapper. Never I shout out to World <laughs> Fame. These niggas had yeah. grifter posters hey, all over the Bill, city, Bill man. Billboards and everything. Yeah. Bill Billboards, Bill Bill grifter, and no, never dropped the album. Shout out yeah. to World Fame. Shout out to uh, c -Pone. Them niggas right there. I need yeah. make, make sure them niggas get at me. You know yeah. them niggas. Oh, yeah. Y'all see this interview, Grifty. Yeah, I yeah, need yeah. to talk to y'all. So y'all holler at me. You, my man. number, you know how to find me. Go on my inbox mm -hmm. and holler at me. I want to talk to these Grifty niggas because I want to understand what's going on all them damn posts. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All them damn yeah. uh, 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 billboards, mm -hmm. all this money they put behind it. What happened? Yeah. What was the snag? Yeah. We got to figure that out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to them boys, though. Boy, that was man. a hell of a run. In hip-hop, that's a part of the hip-hop culture. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. When you go over to Fort Worth, Twisted Black was just oh, on here. Yeah, and Black. Twisted Black, nigga, let me tell you something. Boy, that nigga sung that song for me, boy, in here, man. We went down through there, man. I ain't gonna lie. He a hustler, nigga. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I live it out. He didn't do that one, nigga, but he could have. Yeah. yeah. Nah, for real. <laughs> yeah, that's this side. Yeah, yeah. No good side. Yeah, not for real. Nah, for huh? real. It's quoting them left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, for real. Yeah, man. Twisted Black, man. That Shout nigga over there. Hey, listen, Shout man. Twisted Black. Say, man, that boy, hey, that boy, that was something else. Bullet room, right? I'm gonna let it scare you. Nigga, go do that, man. That nigga was hard with that. Yeah, yeah. So, so stuff. what do you, what do you, you, now you got some big shoes. You coming behind Go Yeah Yo. You coming behind a lot of stuff over there when you rapping. I'm different from them though. Them guys is more. You coming behind them though? Yeah, but I'm still different. I'm gonna come on. A, I'm gonna be more massive, and I'm, it's no disrespect to them because they do what they do and they dope. But I'm in a whole another lane versus them. You know what I'm saying? Like me, I'm speaking to the mind. I'm trying to elevate, and you know what you're I'm a saying? conscious rapper. More so, but real life, reality rapper. Like I rap about everything. My life, shit that goes on in in life, not just the hood. That's the same thing J Dog told me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm beyond that though. I'm just telling you, that's what yeah. he told me. He they talk about his life. Yeah, he don't, I love Jay. He, say he don't really rap. He just tell he his talks, story. Yeah, I love that's his music. That pain, uh, man, that touches your it. heart. You know what I'm saying? It's the connection I try to gain with people versus trying to make them jam. Wow, I want to connect with you. When you when you think about like Dallas and mm -hmm. and, and 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 what we've had here, all the obstacles we faced, Dallas and Fort Worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All the stuff that happened and transpired in the hip hop. Where do you think that? When people look at Dallas as a whole, Fort Worth, DFW, what do you think they think when they look down here? And I go to you first. And okay. Keep it in mind, man. Uh, I'm yes, talking about people up top. I'm talking about people yeah. down bottom. What do they think about when they think about Dallas, Fort I Worth? I think um, honestly, man, the travel I've been around, the people I've been around, they they think very highly of Dallas as a music city now than they ever did before. Yeah. I think that's because yeah, of the internet. You know what I'm saying? The internet has helped that. The fact that also too. People had to understand we were always a radio hub. We always had the biggest radio market, but now we I think we got the biggest podcast market in Texas. You know what I'm saying? With you, Super Tight, Real Life, everybody. I mean, we got outlets here now that's helping us get around the world. So you'd be surprised at how many people in LA, New York, South Carolina, Miami know everybody, everything about Fort Worth, everything they know about Dallas. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I think they think highly of our music. They think highly of our rappers. I think these guys will stretch their legs a little bit, get out of town. They'll see how big stars they really are. They'll conduct themselves a little bit differently than they do around here. Wow. Yeah, see, for Same me, it's, question. A, it's a bit different only because I'm from Fort Worth. So a lot of people don't really know about Fort Worth music. They know Dallas, and they think Fort Worth is Dallas. You know what I'm saying? When it's, you know, it's really two different different sides and um what do you think they think when they think about four nothing they don't no know. that's not they, true that's man, not true. they think bro. banging i'm telling you, you okay niggas, okay you yeah, niggas, i'm thinking you're talking about music wise <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna talk yeah. <laughs> you niggas know 
Oh, y'all don't even No, nah, for real. Nah, nah, yeah, you got, about you got Charleston right. White, OG Percy, nigga. You got them. Them of niggas course. known. Folk were, believe me, you got everybody over there from Go Yeah Yo, all these different yeah. folks over there, Enchanting, Half Pint Films. Yeah. Nigga, it's a bunch of people over yeah. there. Half Pint Films yeah. is on no jumper. But they and still, he be on here, and he be on Real Life, and he be on Big D the Mogul. Yeah. So at the end of the day, nigga, like he said, yeah. they seeing it. And, and, and what you guys say on these records they, and these and these interviews and these podcasts, they know where you're from. Yeah. To an extent, the places I've been, the people I've been around, you know what I'm saying? It's not too familiar to them like that. Because you can ask them, do they know a go, yeah, yeah, and they don't know. What? Yeah, literally. You can ask them, and you have to show them, like, what? You don't know go, yeah, yo? You don't know this person? You don't know? They don't know. Like, the people I've been around, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, he might have been around the ones that do know. But a lot of people where I come from, like, where, I, where I've been, they don't know a lot of Fort Worth artists. So, so they know you, tell, you know, yeah, but Go Yeah Yo was with Soldier Boy hardcore on that internet, yeah. on that jack. A lot of he had a lot of beef and stuff going on. Believe yeah. me, some but niggas see. I, I know got a lot of niggas in them damn the comments. Impact. Listen, yeah. I know the impact they made, yeah. but I'm yeah. saying as far as people like you said, it's up. I've been on the West Coast. I've been on the East Coast. I've been on other parts of the South. They know Mo3. No Yellow Beezy. When I ask Go Yeah Yo, because that's one nigga, nigga I know from my city that really was rising. They had a name. They don't know it. Mm. Wow. Because he didn't have radio play like that. These guys had radio play, so they was, I went to Miami. I heard, I'm hearing them play Mo3 on the radio. I'm like, damn, that's Mo3? Y'all fuck with Mo3 out here? They just, hell yeah. This. Y'all know Go Yeah? They don't know Go Yeah. Who is that? Oh, okay, I'm about to check them out. I'm like, damn. But that's just facts. Like, this is re what I'm saying. What do you think about that? I, I want to be um, real for a second. I, I, would, I, would, I would disagree on the fact that you got to remember, like, if you if you look at Go Yayo body of work, the boy got probably 100 million views, streams, I know that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm, saying? I'm not saying that. I don't, That's 100 million people that, that know people, who he you know is. What I'm, saying? I'm, I'm a fan. I like Go Yayo shit. I think what but. makes it different, though, is... The internet spreads it out so far, so far that they can't seem thin. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, and then he's been locked up. That kind of yeah, yeah, that, kinda, that puts yeah. a shadow on him too. Yeah, because he's yeah. been gone. Go, yeah, yo, he yeah. coming home. He about to come home. Yeah, we gonna see sure. if they know him then. It could be yeah, a lot. It's a lot. Sure. It's a lot of people that know go, yeah, yo, that don't come out the house either. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That, that don't get out and do things. They at the crib streaming and whatever. Yeah, that's real. Nah, that is real. I fuck with go, yeah, yo, shit. Well, well, like I said, who when enchanting. I don't never hear about her. You never heard of her? I've heard of her. I yes, never hear yeah. about her. Like I know Johnny Damn D. I I know them. So they just yeah, personally. cause they drop. I know Gucci just came out and said they dropped off the label. Mm. He just said that uh, yeah. the, the, last night when I was looking at one of the new interviews he yeah, just done. Yeah. He was saying, but they still cool. But she like I was supposed to do a song with her before she even took off, blew up. Johnny Damn D was a manager at one point. Me and Johnny D Damn D know each other. So he reached out to me one time to do a track with her, but I know my music is different. So when I sent the song, cause he liked my music, he's like, bro, you the only dude in the city I feel like it's different, this and that, you know what I'm saying? I want you to do a song with my artist, her name Enchanting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sent him the track. Uh, he never got back to me about it when I even reached out to him, but I figured I already knew what it was, it's different. It wasn't really her lane, so I just chalked it up to the game cause it wasn't, I mean, shit, I'm doing me. You know what I'm saying? Love and respect to them though. Real talk. Well, you you got ghetto boy. How I'm moving, you know. Yeah. You're doing your thing, like, yeah. And, and I'm still going. And you're still going. And and then what's the new project that you're working on? Uh, well, I just dropped "Smoke in the City 4. "Smoke in the City 4. Yeah. How many songs on it? It's it? like 15 on there. Ooh, that nigga yeah. old school. Four old minute school, long, 15 yeah, songs. Yeah, 15 you know, songs the right four there. minute long, 15 <laughs> songs, baby. It's yeah, not not yeah. four minute long though. Yeah, I did all the tracks on there except for uh, four minute long. No, How no, long no, are the songs? No, three, long. two? About like two and a half. Okay, they, yeah, they cut you know. us in half. You know, we I, I, used to go I four. To, I had to we used to go four. Game. Had to learn that game to yeah. one verse and two We'll go six, right. nigga. Had to learn that game. Yeah. Yeah, You're I a know. thriller like Mike and go 15 <laughs> I know. minutes. Yeah. I know, man. <laughs> yeah, man. But our team did all the tracks. Uh, Quint Black did one track on what? the What? Quint Black? You got yeah, him on there? Dog. Yeah, yeah, it's my dog. It's my, I've been knowing him for forever, so. What the hell have you been up to? A couple oh, of people at the barbershop say, man, y'all to get with Quint yeah, Black. I say, man, man, I be. That's Take them haters That's off. My dog. He's still doing his thing. Boy, it feel man. good in the city, don't it? You got yeah. them hits. You ain't got Nemesis on that one of them tracks yet? Well, Snake is the one that taught me how to record. Okay. Like, like, I came in learning from Snake on how to press certain buttons and keys and get my producer skills. Now, 
he taught me and my brother all of that. Wow. You know, so me and Snake still cool. Wow, and and yeah. so you got you went you went with Big Tug, and you decided not to go with Tom Tom or Fat Beasy. Well, it wasn't nothing against I'm them. I'm just saying. I'm, hey man, I ain't got nothing to do with <laughs> it. <laughs> nah, I love DSR man to the core. Big, Big Tug was my favorite out of them. Like Big oh. Tug Purple Hug was something I list. I used to write the lyrics down. You know what I'm saying? Because I was a little kid growing up listening to this shit, mm-hmm. and I gave him his flowers when I met him, and he was so humble. You know what I'm saying? But I told him, bro. Man, me and my big bros, everybody listened to DSR. Like, mm-hmm. DSR was them guys for us. And Big Tuck was such an impact on me with music, because, man, I'm telling you, I literally used to write his lyrics down That's to dope. learn them, because I wanted to know his songs that bad. That's and dope. when I met him, it was all love and respect from him. It was like, damn, I'm thinking he might be on some Hollywood shit, but he wasn't. He was humble, real genuine guy. And they in Dallas. Shout in Dallas. Tuck. And how old are you, if you don't mind, man? 30. In my you th- ought to know yeah. about, what about, uh, Mr. Lucha and Pookie, man. Of course, I know about them. Diabolical. Yes, I know mm-hmm. about them. I love them, they music too. Come on now. Shout out to them. Did you holler at them? Ah, uh, nah. It's just because, like I said, I ran into Big Tuck. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I, I love those into. guys, man. Yeah, Mr. Man. Pookie and Lucha, man. Yeah, Your boy went in. Stony Crook, yeah. <laughs> Stony boy, Crook man. man. So, you guys are in a city now mm-hmm. where you've had a uh, lot of beefs and stuff. Yeah. Um, I know now we're trying, kind of moving away from it, man. You know, a lot of guys, they, you know, uh, at the end of the day, been through a lot in this city, man. Mm-hmm. You know, what are you guys going to do different to try to keep the peace, bring the unit? I want a we all the world, man. I want a, I want a, I want a son to come bring the city back together. Y'all, y'all really. probably think it's lame. It's cool. No, I, don't I don't mind think being lame. lame at all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to bring the city together, man. You know, uh, if you put the city together and everybody come down that aisle together, boy, it's gonna go off. Yeah, yeah so. not for real. That unity is something else. Mm-hmm. You know. Our unity is more powerful than an atomic bomb. Yeah, not for real. Unity if you is come powerful. together, man, Pimp C said, see how much, if, you, if these niggas come together, you know how much money, paper, we'll see. Bread truck. Not nah, for real. Bread truck, yeah. Bread Get off that truck. crumb stuff, man. Bread truck, man. You see what I'm nah, saying? For real. So we got to figure that that part out, you know. Um, so um, that yeah. album, let's yeah. go back. I'm going to go back yeah, to this album good. right yeah. quick. Yeah. Like, when you, when you, process that album how long did it take you to put that together it took me a little while because I, I wanted to build like a kind of like a smoke in the city for me it's kind of like dre doing the chronic you know what i'm saying where i want to kind of get in there and work with the guys one-on-one like produce the records versus just like sing your record and you send it back to me i'm, I'm kind of old school in that manner so i took my time with that put some features on there and, and kind of put a body of work together that is that's killing right now so i'm good yeah, so we got a uh, fat pimp on there. What? Shout out to fat. Uh, that's my boy. Yeah, shout out to pimp. Shout out to fat pimp. Fat bastards on there, of course. What? That's and my then, boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Then, he uh, be over. So he he was here before Boss Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my guy. Like, keep going. Who yeah. else you got? Uh, of course, I got Big Pokey on there. Man, go yeah, on, man. Oh, yeah. Jesus, For real. Some real doubt here. Yeah, me, me and Pokey people. did our song yeah. probably. Uh, I was wild. So we did our song maybe like two months before he passed away. Passed away. Then the week before he passed away, we were talking about shooting a video. Wow, and then man. He passed away. And we couldn't R. shoot it, but big pokey, the video man. that we did, the footage that we do have, the video just came out last week and it's doing really good. So that, that's all good. So shout out to him, his family, man. Shout out to Win and Regret, the whole team. They always showed a lot of love. So I just appreciate How that. How was man. it? Did y'all get in there and work together? Yeah, it, it was kind of, it was unique because. Again, I'm trying to get with the new age now. They got a system where you can actually record with somebody, almost like a Zoom call, yeah. you know what I mean, where you can kind of link up different things. So shout out to Bruce Bang down there because he put it all together. And uh, it was dope, man. It was kind of like being in the studio together but not really in the studio together. It was kind of wow. kind of surreal, you know. We've met each other plenty of times and done shows together and stuff, but well, I wanted to get it back as quick as possible so I could put it out as quick as Big possible. Pokey. And he wrecked it. So when he wrecked it, I was like, man, I got to get it out like ASAP. I couldn't even wait. Big Pokey. Yeah. Devin the Dude. Fat Bastard. Big Tug. Stop playing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Come sure. on, man. Yeah, Quint yeah. Black. I can keep no, going, no, nigga. Yeah. Y'all niggas is cold, man. I grit done, boys. Done, you know the yeah, the grit boys. Let's go. Yeah, I gotta try like, to listen, man, you got them. all yeah, this. Dope. This is co- this the South, man. See, that's yeah. all. Y'all don't understand me. <laughs> I get <laughs> real excited about what we do. Y'all don't watch Boss Talk. If you did, you'd know where I'm coming yeah. from. Nah, I already know. You know what I'm saying? I know <laughs> nah, it's I, exciting yeah. to hear it, yeah. and it shows that you guys are really trying to work with our people in the city. Yeah. And if everybody rock like y'all rock, man, we going to make this thing go all the way to the top. No, you know what I'm saying? Up. 
Because at the end of the day, you from the DL, you from Fort Worth, you in South Dallas, but y'all working from DFW all the way back to Fort Worth, back over to 635, 820, they all over the place. Nah, for real. My you goal really is to get all these guys to keep rapping. Like, I, I be, I talk to all of them, Pookie, Lucci, Fat B, everybody like, bro, just keep rapping, keep putting out that. Pookie music, Leroy man. just came out with you know one. He sure did. That's what I'm Pookie saying. Pookie Leroy just, you already know who that is. All, yeah, I want all those guys you know to keep doing it, man. Keep rapping. Man, you know what I'm saying? I'm listening to all these yeah, boys, man. Rapping. It's I'm good to mama. see everybody. Yeah, when I was on the cruise, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> but I met his mama, like it was crazy. It, it, his mama cool, I know her cool too, man. Pookie Lee right now, man. Mike, man, shout out to Money Mike over there. Yeah, man. I really ride with them dudes, man. Like you got some yeah. good folks in Dallas, Texas, man. Some good artists, man, yeah, man. that keep working. How yeah. many videos am I gonna get with this new project, though? Ooh, man, this. How many songs on it? It's 13. I should get 13 videos according to it's Bun B. Be Bun B and me talked about it. Bun B said you should have a video for every, every song. song. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Life. Nah, I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. They got DSLRs <laughs> popping up everywhere. You can get them on Alpha Up. Yeah, you know that? Nah, every real. song. Every song. <laughs> every song. Nah, for real. If Man. So I need y'all top like, three artists of all time. Bam, she alive. shut me down. Oh, damn. Top that means we can wind it down when she did that. Of all time? Mm-hmm. Dead or alive. Ooh, Start man. with you first. Okay, Start with you first. Uh, Scarface. Mm -hmm. Pimp That's C. it. Then and who? Pimp C, Scar man. Scarface, Pimp C. Yeah, ain't gonna like my... And, um, <laughs> damn, just three? Just three. Any I'd genre. I'd probably say... I'd probably say Q. Ice Cube. Ice okay. Cube, right? The yeah. rhymes that I say. He writing good, easy that's music. That's it just that's popped that's up when you said that. People yeah. be slipping on Cube, man. Yeah. If you go back and listen to some Cube... Keep slip, keep going. Well, once upon a time in the project, yo. Man. Dun, 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 dun. Even the newer stuff. <laughs> no, man. Let's get that top three. Rappers or artists? Hey, whoever. Your any top any three. genre. Any genre. Any genre. Ooh, okay. So. Let's see what he talking about. He talking about he don't like here. You don't know. No, I'm saying because. Who I'm a, is it? I know who wants to be. I'm going to put Merlin Manson in there. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number that two. Ain't bad. That two? ain't number one. This ain't even the order. Okay. Tupac, of course. Okay, then the that's last number one? one right there. Yes, really. And yeah, that's yeah. it. And then I'm gonna say, <laughs> Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. Okay. The Fire Man. That's what I, I mean. And I'll ask you because them three people I listen to, and it's more. I can't even. Put yeah, this, you can't. That we don't three, want but three. Give you, uh, them who I yeah. listen to, I can listen to them every day. Man, thank you so much, man. Like I said, you guys. Now, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Jack Boy Marley, everywhere. Ooh, that's a hell of a name. I hope you can stand behind me. Thank you for coming through and do something. I'm yeah. from the '90s, nigga. Nigga with the name Jack Boy, he had to be moving. The stoplight yeah. was a problem for nigga when Jack Boy came. That's on what it's gonna be. What I'm talking about. When what about my guy here? Oh, man. Right. Uh, yeah, Dan Street Click, man. Y'all make sure y'all check that out, okay. man. Okay. Represent the whole label, man. Uh, shout out to all my guys, man. And uh, follow us, man. We're doing it. We're doing everything. And, and it's, that's where you can yeah, find Dan that? Yeah, Dan Street Click, yeah. yeah Already, Click, man. man. Check it, man. Hey, man, listen, man. You guys are dope, man. Hopefully, I'll get to run into you again on the next project if you niggas working. Because I know y'all is coming from what I heard today. Oh, you niggas going to try to do something. Yeah, not for sure. And right, I'm going to show, be watching, waiting, and listening. Yeah, and if I see anything see. on that internet don't look right, OECO going to jump in your inbox and hey, start melting. Please. <laughs> please. Check it, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss. Hey, we love you guys. Appreciate it. I love y'all too, Thank man. You. For sure. Talk. Right. And we out. Appreciate it.